Does it work when he fights back with all his power? Yes. You know, we have seen very good examples of what happens when a superior grappler fights somebody who's a massively physically superior, much bigger and heavier in the early UFC. We have seen that. There has been fight like 80 kilogram guy fighting 150 kilogram roided up guy. There was a fight in Japan, I don't remember, I think it was a Genki Sudo or somebody fighting a 200 kilogram sumo Yokozuna. So that was a trained fighter as well. And Jiu-Jitsu guy won with a heel hook. There was the heaviest MMA fighter of all time, Emmanuel Yarboro. He was a wrestler too of 800 pounds. That's over 300 kilograms. And he too, he was being taken down. Now, obviously, when grappling somebody of that extreme weight, you cannot or I cannot lift them up. You're right about that. Let's not, let's not uh, choke ourselves. I could not lift somebody up who's 200 kilogram, but I can throw him down. That's not the same, you know. I just need to trip him, make him trip and fall. Um, when teaching about foot sweeps in children's class, I usually ask them, have you ever stumbled over something, like tripped yourself, maybe on a door frame or something? And usually they agree and I'm like, yeah, so the door has just done judo on you. The door has thrown you and it hasn't even moved. It's just been there. Because if your weight is moving, you're constantly being off balance. And a very good judoka or judite or wrestler just needs to use that momentum that you already create and make you trip and then you fall. And when you fall and you don't know how to fall and the ground is concrete, it's incredibly surprising, it's shocking how hard somebody falls when they just trip. It, when it's not even like a suplex, I'm not talking about suplex or body slams. Yeah, you're right. There's a limit to that. There is a limit to how big of a man I can body slam. And that man in the video that I've shown, that's just about the limit, like 120, 130 kilogram. That's the limit for me of somebody who I can lift up to my shoulder weight, to my head height and then put him down but I can make a much bigger man fall to the floor. And then he's on the floor. If he hits the head on the way down, that's it. And I got a, a story I will maybe tell, tell in a later video of a surprising small throw that's already the end. And even if not, then he's on the floor on the concrete and I'm standing and I'm just stomping or do whatever I like, whatever I want I can do to him in that moment. 